the difference between art and design, all right, is that art is for the individual to interpret. Design is for the millions to understand. Okay, what does that mean? Yo, yo, yo. What's good? Queen David, Pen Click Prime Minister. We out here. Um, and thank you guys for joining. Uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to turn a short poem into a visual for Instagram. You're always competing with all these, you know, like really amazing photos, these videos, but then you come across on your feed and you see like this black and white uh, text, you know, black text against a white background off of somebody's notes app. And not the greatest thing, right? Um, to stand out on Instagram, to make your poetry uh, be more shareable, to be more captivating to the Instagram audience, then you really need to play in their field, which is a visual language. So um, I'm Kuya David, the Pen Click Prime Minister, but professionally I'm also a creative art director for the advertising industry. And uh, our main, one of our main missions on Pen Click is to show y'all um, how poetry can be modernized and how it can be adapted into these new art forms, these new medias, these new platforms um, for today, for the internet generation. So, uh, yeah, today we're going to be using Photoshop. Um, oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, please check us out on Instagram. Um, yeah, uh, because on Instagram, we're always trying to experiment with poetry, how to use poetry in a very interesting way. Um, how to use poetry in a way that uh, is best suited for, for internet, that's best suited for video on YouTube, that's best suited for, for Instagram. We're just trying to experiment, experiment. Pen Click is the laboratory where the mad geniuses, myself and Daniel, he's the chubby fat god, where we create our uh, poetry media and release it to y'all. And hopefully this empowers you guys uh, so you guys understand how to uh, do poetry in new, interesting ways that serve the internet platform and, you know, just for the culture, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's get into it. So um, on Instagram, I posted a question like, hey, I'm gonna try to make one of you guys' uh, poetry pieces into, um, into an actual visual piece. So I made a call for requests. I'm actually setting up the YouTube live stream right now but I still need a poem to turn into an Instagram piece. So send me like a short four line, five line piece and let's make some art. And Mr. Retro underscore TR, be sure to give him a follow. Um, he was the first one to pull up with a pretty good piece. Um, and it goes, so y'all see it bigger. All right, I'm from Baltimore, a place where bodies drop like pennies, except these ones can't be picked back up. Change isn't something you should look for here. What I really love about this piece is very visual. I'm from Baltimore, so that gives us a location. When we're trying to translate um, poetry to visuals, what we're looking for are specific visual themes um, from the poem that we can, uh, we can embellish upon. So I'm from Baltimore. Maybe we can use a background of a, of a shot of Baltimore um, where bodies drop like pennies. Maybe, so bodies drop like pennies. Maybe it's pennies that are falling down um, and against, you know, against an image of Baltimore. And so place where bodies drop like pennies. So those bodies are probably dropping because of gun violence or maybe it's drugs. So for the sake of pennies dropping, pennies are made of copper. What else is made of copper? Bullets. And you know? also maybe it's bullets and pennies dropping in front of a shot of Baltimore, and we'll have this text. All right, this is something I learned from my professor, uh, shout out Jack Aguilar, uh, back in the day, years ago, when I was still in design school. And he told me, and I carry this throughout my life, it goes like this. The difference between art and design, all right, is that art is for the individual to interpret. Design is for the millions to understand. Okay, what does that mean? Uh, that means that, think of like a billboard. You're on the freeway and there's a billboard, right? You have to understand what that billboard is saying within that three seconds, okay? So maybe it's a big billboard with 
with, um, with a big cheeseburger and it says McDonald's, exit next right. Within those three seconds, you know that there are cheeseburgers at a place called McDonald's and that you can go there to buy a cheeseburger um, on the next exit, right? Art, such as poetry, such as like what you see in a museum, that's for the individual to interpret. So if you see like an image of, you know, a, a red dot against a white canvas, you know, modern art. Uh, but let's say, let's say that's what it is. Um, as for the individual to interpret, maybe one person's like, oh, it's the flag of Japan in an abstract way. Or maybe another person like, that's a drop of blood against like, a white background. Another person would be like, oh, the red dot is within a white circle. And that means that that red dot is within the confines of thinking in the box. And that red dot should try to think outside of the box. Bullshit fucking whatever, right? That's art, you know, it's, it's for whatever for you to interpret. Um, shout out uh, Sarah, shout out Retro, thank you for uh, joining us. And yeah, so that's the difference between art and design. Like, you know, art is beautiful because you can make it mean whatever you want and it'll invoke certain feelings within the other people. But for the sake of turning poetry into a visual that people understand, we are employing design, okay? All right, so now let's really get into it. So a design piece is only as good as its assets. What are assets? Assets are the images that you use for, for, um, for your design. So their photos, uh, their illustrations, their logos, those are all your assets that go into the design. Um, so because on Baltimore, we're gonna look for a picture of Baltimore, body is dropping, we're gonna look for um, bullets dropping, pennies dropping, we're gonna look for pennies in the sky. We're gonna put that all together, all right? If you're gonna to try to make a piece that you wanna sell, like if you want to turn this poetry visual into like a card or a poster, you must use, by law, you must use uh, a royalty-free stock images. You can get that at Shutterstock. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it if it's gonna go through a mass production. But a lot of you poets, a lot of you guys are young and don't have the money for that. So what you can do is maybe you can, you know, use your phone, right? And then like take a photo. If you live in Baltimore, take a photo of Baltimore. If you had, if your homie has bullets, you know, have a photo shoot of bullets dropping. You know, if you have a bunch of pennies, you know, throw a bunch of pennies in the air and take a photo of that with your iPhone, you know, all good. By any means necessary, right? If you have, if you don't even have that, you know, you could, you could draw. You know, it might be a shitty drawing, but at least it's something more interesting visually, right? That's what we're looking for. So it's not not bad at all, actually. We're looking at this. And if I turn on the text, let's make that white. All right, so we, we see that it's a little, it's too bright here for that to read, but that, we could always fix that. You know, we could always throw on like, a layer of black and then just like increase it. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, so let's go with this for now. Uh, these bullets look like trash. All right, maybe I'm just gonna stick to these. Okay, we'll, we'll just stick to these, cool. All right, we're gonna first arrange our text, but we gotta remember that the text has to be in view of the Instagram crops. So we don't want to get outside of these crops. We don't want to get outside of the vertical feed crop. We don't want to get too outside of the square crop, okay? And now we're gonna break it up, right, by, by lines. So I'm gonna say, I'm from Baltimore. Um, I'm from Baltimore. I'm from Baltimore. The reason why we did this um, to make it bigger is is just to emphasize um, you know, the location of the place because this is Baltimore is playing a central theme that ties together the entire poem. It's about Baltimore, so let's make Baltimore like a bigger theme. A place where, so just like in poetry, um, where you cut the line matters. It like where you cut the line can give meaning to each line. If you say a place where bodies drop, I mean, like that, like a place gives context to Baltimore, where bodies drop gives context to a place. But 
for this case, a place where, leave them hanging, a place where, bodies drop. Bodies, whoops, bodies drop, bodies drop. Or bodies, all right, let's do something tricky. Let's do something tricky. Let's go, and let's, um, let's also like alter like the size of some of them. So boom, we'll make it big. And you know like how things are, when, when things fall down, like fall away from you, uh, it gets from big to small because that's how distance and visuals work. So let's try to express that. By the way, Retro, hella bars, um, change isn't something you should look for. Change, change like the pennies, change as in social change, salute. All right, uh, like pennies. Here's another thing you have to consider. Um, this is going to a phone, right? We're gonna be looking at it on a phone. That means that this image isn't gonna be as big as what we're seeing on our, on our monitor. It's actually gonna be like maybe that big on a phone. So we just have to ensure that the P of drop doesn't get lost. Like pennies except doesn't get lost. These are all design considerations um, for the output. All right, guys, like pennies. That's the thing about, about um, making poetry for Instagram, right? Because uh, on Instagram, you only have like so much real estate, so much space on, you know, within a square piece and, on, and at that size that Long, longer pieces don't really work so much, you know, so you're looking for like those three line pieces, four line pieces, which is really tough sometimes, you know, to make an effective poem out of only three lines, four lines, but for the medium, you have to work best for, for the platform that you're speaking to. Our text is pretty much there. A really interesting test to see if, um, if like compositionally it's, it's balanced is that if you turn it around, Turn it upside down, and it still looks pretty even. That means that it's, that means that it's not too bottom heavy, not too top heavy. That means that compositionally, you're in a pretty good pay place. All right. So now um, the idea was to have pennies dropping and also bullets dropping. So for pennies, because it's isolated on the background, what we could do is we can actually look at our channels maybe let's look at reds okay so this is some photoshop shit that like i'm gonna have to show you guys i'm like you know at another time boom now we have pennies hey we got pennies bro we did it and you see how like the pennies like the pennies have this weird yellowish greenish um a hue to them and it doesn't really fit in the room. So what we're gonna do is, boom, so there's some red. So now you see here that it's, you get more of that copper. And then we're gonna start masking some of these pennies away. So I'm gonna take this away because it's covering up Baltimore. Um, so boom, I'm gonna take this away, boom. I'm gonna take this away, boom. But I am going to copy them over. So I'm gonna select this and I'll duplicate that. Nope, one more time, boom. All right, cool. And I wanted, what I want is I want to create some dimensionality, right? So I want, I want, I want like these, I want this to like kind of cover up the word change. So it looks like it's interacting with the text, like pennies. Um, there might be a little too many pennies, um, but because we're also going to include bullets like that. So now that we have bullets, we're going to do something similar. We're going to try to select these guys out. And boom. All right. So now we have all these bullets covering our text and we can't read shit. Great. Um, so, so first of all, just like, just like the copper, um, these bullets aren't really, the color of the bullets aren't really fitting the room. And they're kind of shitty. So what we can do is we can create a motion blur. So as if they're dropping hella fast, um, that way that kind of covers our ass. Like, okay, 
Um, so we're gonna do filter, blur, motion blur. So boom, pennies, copper, bullets, copper. Um, but we don't want to use all these bullets. So these bullets are too much. It's a little busy. It's a little busy. Um, let's tr let's see what happens if we blur the pennies as well, because now now the now the pennies and the bullets and the background are a little too distracting, and the and the poetry is starting to get lost. The text is starting to get lost. So let's try blurring um, motion blurring the pennies as well. All right few last minute touches. Uh, we're gonna introduce some bullets on top of the text as well. Just like how, just like in the pennies where we see change here and pennies there getting covered. Uh, we're gonna do the same thing. Also, we're gonna introduce some shadows onto the text itself. So as if like the, sh the penny is casting a shadow. So what we're gonna do is, see all the text is now gray because I introduced um, like this shadow layer. And it's just these little details that you know really sell the dimensionality that's happening, that there's like some layering effects going on here. Almost there. Um, the background now is no longer servicing us as well. Um, this might actually, the background might actually need to go darker. If, we, if it goes black, that's not bad, man. What do you think, Metro? But, you know, Baltimore, I still want to introduce that, but Yeah, empty street, that might work. What do you think? Let's try that, let's open that, see what that looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like overall. That image, um, I'm gonna turn off the lookup table. Looking pretty good. Um, we're just gonna like hi make, you know, give this kid some highlights. So, so before, after, before, after, before, after, all right. So we just want it on this kid. We don't want the highlight to be on anything else. So real quick, all we're gonna do is take our gradient uh, tool and just uh, go on the layer mask and boom. Over here, over here, over there, over there. So now that kid is kind of glowing. And then we're gonna like just set the opacity to like not to be OD. Cool. I'm from Baltimore. All right. Um, the text, this text. We're gonna give this a little drop shadow um, just to like, you know, hedge our bets as far as like making it more readable. Before, after, before, after. Look at, I'm from Baltimore right here. So, before, after. <coughs> a, little, a little more readable. Last but not least, let's sign our work. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, all right. All right, that's it, man. There we go. I'm from Baltimore, a place where bodies drop like pennies, except these ones can't be picked up. Change isn't something you should look for here. There we go. We uh, So let's round to, you know, really, uh, Bringing back to what we did, um, what we did was that we went on Google Images, looks for images um, that matched uh, the visuals. Uh, we brought that into Photoshop, and then we laid out the text in an interesting way. Uh, we came up with a concept prior to, so we knew we were looking for an image of Baltimore. We knew we were looking for bullets and pennies, and then we composed it all together and we did it in a format that's 1080 by 1920, but it can also be used in the 1080 by 1350 crop view, which looks like that. And yeah, all right. I'll be posting this um, retro. I'll uh, be sure to uh, send you a copy. Um, and yeah, thank you Retro TR and all one or two people that are in this. I, I have no idea, but whatever. And yeah, um, probably do this again. Um, let me know in the comments uh, if there's like additional things you want me to go over next time. I'm, I'm gonna try to do this once a week, if that. So yeah, let me know. All right, that should be it. Uh, thank you, pen click, gang gang. Um, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to I'm um, of poetry. Uh, we're really trying to bring poetry in a new space um, in this era of internet streaming. We're trying to create visuals 
videos, um, memes, uh, just give you guys a different perspective of what poetry can be through the lens of you know, professional skill set and through artistic endeavors and creative direction. That's Penclick's mission, that we're really trying to show people who don't necessarily fuck with poetry in a more presentable way by using art and visuals to you know, really show the dopeness of poetry. All right, we out here. Hey, Olivia, shout out. Thank you for dropping by. Cool, all right, sign up. We David, Penclick, gang, gang. Ah, right, we out here. Bye.